Right, I don't know if this is handy for you, but this is what we use. I've just made some up for Daryl's kit. But when we're working on the brakes, if we've got to dismantle the holes, more or less braided, yeah, use the, these, which is, that's the bolt that holds the dashboard in the centre. So then we just put on a washer. Yeah. And then that's your, hole, your holes, yeah, that goes onto the caliper. Washer goes on the other side. Excuse me, because it's one handed at the minute. But then pull the nut up. But it's more useful for braided, this as well, because I know you can clamp holes this, but. Depends what you're doing, and then obviously you just tighten them up, and that stops your fluid coming out while you work and do what you do, no pressure. Now the other one that we used is a union with the with the brake line in, cut down, sealed, and then off the rubber hose. So you got a fail female and a male. And we used these the other day when we were doing the subframe because then that went onto the line runs to the front and that one went into the block so we had no fluid coming out that's at the front from the front and we had none coming from the from the back while we dropped the subframe and diff and pulled it out of the way to work knowing that there wasn't fluid going everywhere so if you get any old ones They're very useful for this, and we've got we've got quite a few of them, and we just use whatever we need. But um, they're very very handy, and they cost nothing. And the thing is, you can you can only ever really find uh, clamps for rubber hoses, whereas for what we do, sometimes you take your stuff apart, and it might be a day or so before you put it back together again, and then at least you know. It's not going anywhere. Probably might be of use to you.